Hello everyone. What I'd like to demonstrate today is how to use query surge to validate a business rule against a Tableau report. Before we start, you should have basic understanding of how to create a Tableau connection in query surge as well as how to run a query against Tableau in query search. For information on those topics, refer to some of the other videos that we have available. Let's start by going to a tab in our browser which is displaying the Tableau report that we're interested in this case which is order details. This report displays a bunch of orders that have been placed in the system. Each order has a bunch of values that are associated with that orders record. For this particular test we're going to focus on the discount column. So let's take a look at the raw data to see how that discount column is represented. We can do that by clicking the download button and then clicking the data button in Tableau. And what you'll see is you want to focus on two columns in the raw data. There's a measured names column which can contain the value discount and then there's a measured values which contains the value that's displayed in the corresponding column name. Note that for some of the values the raw data does not correspond to the same formatting as you see in the report. So in this case the discount column is 40 percent but you'll see the raw data is 0.4 which is the decimal representation of the percentage. So now let us take a look at the business rule that we would like to validate. If we bring up our business rule document, we're going to focus on the business rule that's highlighted, numbered 1.1.1. It says all discount measured values must be less than 100%. So the business rule is that the discount column should not have any value that exceeds 100% in value. So in order to verify that, we are going to create a query pair that can validate that business rule. So in Query Surge, I'm going to open up my business rules folder. And I'm going to go to an already existing query pair that I've created called all discount measured values must be less than 100%. So the way this verification is, uh, is done in Query Surge is we want to see if any records can be returned that do not adhere to our business rule. So if there are any discounts that exceed 100% and they get returned from the query that we're going to execute against the report, that would indicate a failure. So the way we do that is we create the following query. You'll see we have a select clause. We're returning the customer name, order date, order ID, and the measured values. I'm aliasing the measured values as discount, so that's how it will get displayed in our result set from the Tableau report we mention the name of the report which is order details and the specific view which is the product detail sheet and then we have a filter that says only return us records where the measured names equals discount and the measured value is greater than one notice we cast the measured value as a decimal because Tableau will return us all the data as strings and we only want records where it's greater than one. So in an ideal scenario, if none of the discounts were greater than 100%, this query should return me zero records, which would indicate a passing condition. Now, query search works on the concept of a query pair, where it compares a source query to the target query. So if our source query is assuming that no data should be returned, then our target query should be another query that has no data being returned. So in this case, what we do is we use the same connection for both, which is the Tableau server, and we specify a simple select statement. We have four columns specified so that query search doesn't throw any column mismatch errors, and then we limit the number of records to zero. So essentially what we're saying is we should return no records back from the Tableau server on our target side and if any records come back on our source side that would indicate that there's a problem. So let's go ahead and run this query pair and see the result. So if we go to the design run 
design time run tab and we click run. What Query Surge is now doing is making the request to the Tableau report, bringing back the data that meets our search criteria. And if any records are returned, Query Surge should fail the test, indicating that there's a problem. You'll see both source and target queries are finished. The analysis is being done. And once the analysis is complete, we should be able to view the results. So you can see this particular query pair failed. And the reason for the failure is that we had 336 rows that got returned. And on the target side, we had zero rows. So again, we were expecting zero rows to come back. And we had 336 rows that came back, which is problematic. If we look at the results, you'll see that for the discount rate, we had a bunch of orders where the discount rate was greater than 100% which in this case would be greater than one. And of course, that is against the business rule and should not happen. And just to verify that, we can compare the information that you see here to the information in the report itself. And if you do scroll down to look at this report, you will see that there are some discounts that do exceed 100%. Just to show you what would happen in a passing scenario, let us run one more query pair. This one is all quantity fields must be greater than zero. So again, going back to our business rule, this would be the second business rule listed where all quantity values must be greater or equal to one. We, the way the query pair will work is if there are any results returned, where the quantity is less than one, that would be an indication of a failure. And in a passing scenario, you see this one has already been executed and zero rows were returned, which means that this business rule is being met. One other thing to note, if you go to the properties tab, you'll see that we have a mapping field. You can include the mapping number from your documentation against the mapping number in your query pair. Query search does have some reporting capabilities uh, against the mapping numbers so you can verify that your coverage is being met. So that is how you can verify a business rule against the Tableau report using Query Search.